Hot Creek's fire tower. Why don't we call him? Good idea. XNY556. A, Apple. Come in, please. Over. XNY556. C for Charlie. Hi, Matt. Just passing by. How are things with you? Fine, Pete. But this time your brother was back. This guy relieving him takes the skin off my nose if I don't go exactly by the book. I bet he does. Things just aren't the same around Indian River with George away. We're getting out. Going camping for a week. You're lucky. And we're using up air time, son, and that's not in the book. Have a good time. Thanks, Matt. Over and out. Five, 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 six, C for Charlie. XNY, five, five, six, C for Charlie. Over. Pike Tower, where have you been? I've been right here, Mr. Brody. Well, your radio's been jammed. I've been trying to talk to you. Well, Pete Keeley called. That's George Keeley's brother. He was... Every moment you're off the air is a... is a moment of potential danger. Sure, could be, but... Well, then, don't forget it, Pike Tower. <sighs> Over and out. See how deep it is before we cross. I'll go. Charlie never puts a foot wrong. Wait, Chuck! Not so fast! Yeah. It's wet. <laughs> some of it's going the water. Makes a change. You've been throwing just about every place else. Well, the guy's got to learn. A lot of heat here. I think he's pulled some ligaments around the fetlock. Gosh, I hope not. Charlie's just about everything Chubb's got in this world. I guess that's why Ted Graves gave him Charlie, to make him feel like he really belonged. Is he okay? Going a bit short in the near four, Chuck. You mean he's hurt himself? Know what I think? I think he's going to be okay. I don't think he could have got up if he broke his pastor. Broken it? If he's broken it, it would have had to be shot. Well, anyhow, he's going to need attention, and we're pretty deep in this forest. Hey! George said there was an old Indian lived on the edge of, of the reserve near Samson Lake. Seems he's pretty good at healing animals. I've heard he's kind of a witch doctor. I'd be pretty scared to go too near him. Well, we've got to do something. Samson's Lake is only about a half hour ride. Why don't you and John go see if you can find this guy? Okay. Well, y'all ready? Come on. Come on. Do you believe in witch doctors? I don't know. I believe in trucks. Well, if we can get back to the stable, we can make him comfortable. Could have Brian Poultice or something on. Why don't we go back to Indian River and fix it? I find some moss. A cold compress might make him feel more comfortable. Keep this guy Brody. I don't know if he'll help. It's part of Brody's job to look after the animals in the area. Okay, try anything. Gabby, look after Charlie. I sure will. Okay, let's go. It's three minutes past the hour. You're three minutes late. Now, when you're not on listening watch, you report in every hour on the hour, and that doesn't mean three minutes past, okay? Over and out. Well, that horse of yours, it sounds like a broken pastor, and if so, it's got to be shot. I think he could have got up if he'd broken his pastern. Now, what do you expect it to do for Pete's sake? Just lie around in the middle of the river? Anyhow, he's my horse. Nobody's gonna shoot him, unless... Look, son, I'm in charge around here. If I think that horse is suffering, it can't be saved. Well, I know my duty. I'll take a truck. 
But from what you tell me, we won't need it. Now, I'm not too familiar with this territory, so some of you kids better come along and show me the way. It's my horse, and you're not going to shoot him. Look, son, I don't like shooting horses. Let's hope I don't need to. Let's go. You've got to stop him. What if he thinks Charlie's bust his leg? How do we know he's right? How do we know he knows anything about it? Look, you go with him and make sure he takes a long time. I don't get it. I want to get there first. I'll try and fix something, okay? Okay. Come on, kid, let's go. I haven't got all day for this. I think this is where he lives. Why don't you go and talk to him? I'll hold the horses. But, well, it was your idea. Here. I guess you know my brother, George. No speak. She walk, make big medicine. You speak, spirit of my money too, no come. You keep mouth shut, huh? Yes, sir. Okay. We know me no oh, man, I keep call me no man. Well, I could be wrong, of course. What about? Well, you can hear it, can't you? You probably heard a long time before I did. Well, I guess you know just about everything, about trucks and engines and that kind of thing. Not my line. Just know enough to keep them going. That's all I want to know. That's great. I mean, that's a great pity. Because the last time I heard this, a couple minutes later, wham, the car around went right to the side of the block. Last time you heard what? What I guess heard. Listen. Sounds okay to me? It does? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess you just hadn't got a mechanical ear. Somebody told me you're uh, quite an expert. Well, everybody's got to be good at something. What are you good at, Mr. Brody? My job. How about this noise? Shh. You think of it? Gee, it's getting worse. I still can't hear it. Oh, well, what's it matter? I guess it's pretty easy for you to read off an old truck like this. Just fill in a form or something. I don't suppose it really counts against you. Okay, kid, it's your noise. Won't find it.
could you do this? Sure. I was just checking. Doesn't seem to have helped. Get all the leads on the wrong way. Well, the guy can't do everything. Even if he has to be good at something? Anyhow, I fixed it. You hear that? Yeah, I guess you really fixed it. Brody wouldn't shoot a horse, unless he was quite sure there was no chance. Would he? I don't think he knows too much. Well, what can we do? Why don't we call up Pete? Yeah! At least his old witch doctor will know, and he can argue it out with Brody. But what if they can't find him? We do something else. XNY556. XNY556. Pete Baker, over. Hi, John. You get him? Pete's inside with him. Been in for quite a time. I hope he's okay. You've got to go in and hurry him up. I'm not going in there. But you have to. We haven't much time. Brody's coming. He thinks Charlie's got a broken leg. And he's going to shoot him. I come sometime. Maybe tomorrow. But we can't wait that long. We've got a horse with an injured leg. We've got to do something now. I come sometime. Oh, well. Here goes. My friend just said that... I hear him. Well, you've got to come. We can't wait. You just can't come tomorrow or the next day. Sometime. Maybe you're just an old fraud. I guess you're scared you can't do anything. Is that it? Huh? I think you've hurt his feelings, Pete. I guess we better just... I come now. But first, we make medicine. Dwarf juniper bark. I've heard of this. Here. I don't think I... Just think of Charlie. So maybe I can... Yeah, yeah. Do you mind uh, standing back, Kitty? I mean, right back. on your face. Well, 
I guess I got it off this old truck of yours. Seems like it needs a bit of cleaning up, Mr. Brody. Now look here, kid. Now, oh, medicine, good. Now we go, okay? Tell Mike we're on our way. Are you sure we're on the right trail? Sure. Okay. Except that all forest trails kind of look the same to me. But I guess this is it. Sounds like a river ahead. Could be right this time. It would make a nice change. No bridge. No. Deep, too. Kind of. Yeah. How do we get across? Gosh, Mr. Brody, I forgot last time we were on horseback. <sighs> A map! Great idea, Mr. Brody. Now, I think... Look, I'm... look. Don't think me ungrateful, but just... Let me find this myself, will you? Sure, Mr. Brody. Plenty of time. How long is he going to take? We just can't hurry him. It doesn't help. I just hope Chubb can hold off Brody. So do I. Right hand! Hard down, Mr. Brody. I meant left. Oh, that's all right, kid. We all make mistakes. Why just you don't let me do this myself, eh? When's he going to do something? I guess this is all part of it. We just can't hurry him. Come here, Mr. Brody. The gun. time of the year. You're a couple of months out. Well, I guess it could have been something else. Yeah. 
Like imagination? Boy, oh boy. Ah, uh, finally. But that's not... Say something? Me? Hi, Mr. Brody. Don't you kids know enough to take a stone out of a horse's hoof? Wasting my time? Using the department's gas. Oh. And that truck. That truck might have been needed elsewhere. Yeah. I don't know. I just... Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Please. I don't know. Doesn't know what kids are coming to nowadays. Gosh, I'm sorry, Mr. Brody. Well, we didn't think of looking for stones and things. Kid, I'm going to do you a big favor. Me? You. I'm not going to say anything about this to your brother. Gee, thanks, Mr. Brody. That's pretty good of you. Well, I just don't want to break his heart. Like the way you darn near broke mine. Say, where's Charlie? Follow me. Charlie! Boy, am I glad to see hey, you. Your horse? Sure it is. Well, all right now. Two or three days. No more trouble. Gee, that's great. Then he couldn't have broken it after all. Ooh, you think not? Well... Well, maybe good thing you come for me just the same. King what? How do you say, thanks a lot, in Ojibwe? We swipe. Eh? <laughs> no, this is... <sighs> Just changed color? Gosh, so he has. I never noticed. I guess... I guess you must think that... that I'm a real... That's right, kid. That's just what I think. Mm -hmm. 